Good morning everybody and once again welcome to the video. Uh, this video is about EMR serverless for beginners, that is correct. You are going to learn in this video A. How to essentially create a simple EMR serverless cluster. Then you are going to learn how to submit Spark jobs uh, through the EMR CLI. You are also going to learn how to process data incrementally using bookmark functionality. And at the end, we're gonna read the data from a, zone, a raw zone and essentially build a simple transactional data lake to essentially complete the small mini project. So now um, that you know what we're gonna do, let's essentially uh, have an EMR serverless cluster. So the way we're gonna do that is basically we're gonna click on manage application, click on create application, and then here we are gonna put the name as data team, type as Spark, release as 6.10, uh, architecture as S uh, x86, Right? Rest everything to default and click on create application. So as you can see, my application has now been created and now what you wanna do is click on start application. And the application is now in the starting state. Uh, that's great. Now the next step is basically, we would need um, some data to play with. And essentially now what, what you will do is uh, head over to your S3, click on create folder and then put the folder name as raw over here and click on create folder. Once the folder has been created, you will be given some data files to play with. So uh, uh, again, this is on the GitHub section. So simply drag this in the raw, raw folder, click on upload. And these all four files have been now uploaded. And here you can see now in the raw zone, I have some data to play with. Now that you have some data, now what we need to do is we need to install the EMR CLI. And you can do that by using pip3 install EMR CLI. Before we begin the project, you need to set environment variables. So make sure if you're on Windows, you can use the word set X, access key, and put your access and secret and the region. Or else you can simply say to the Boto3 AWS configure, put your access secret and region, and you should be good to go. Now the next part is we need to create an empty project. So I'm gonna do that by using the word EMR in it, my project. Uh, come to the terminal, clear everything here, and say EMR in it, my project. Now, as you can see, this is gonna create a boilerplate. Basically, this will create a Docker file, an entry point.py, a jobs folder inside which there is some Spark code given. Now, in order to learn um, things well, what we're gonna do is I have a sample code which is gonna read the data from the S3 raw, raw zone, the one that you just uploaded. So now let's perform that part. So come to the folder jobs. Inside there, there'll be a Python file called extremeweather.py. Remove everything and simply paste the code that I'm gonna give you. And the only thing that you will change on line 340 is your bucket name. Uh, again, in my case, my bucket name is JT Somilsha test uh, underscore raw. That is where my um, data files are. So you can simply click on here and copy the raw S3 URI. Uh, once you're done with that, then please head over to entrypoint.py and over here, uh, what you wanna do is we need to import this function run job, right? So from job.extreme, which is the Python file, we wanna import run underscore job. We will take everything off from here and simply put run job over here. So the code is very straightforward. It reads from the raw zone, right? It reads the data and essentially uh, creates a Spark data frame and perform an upsort on a transaction data lake. Now, at the end, we perform a job.commit, meaning it's similar to glue bookmark. So it's gonna uh, basically store the metadata on S3, such as the last file that it has processed and the timestamp. So the next time when you run the same job, it's gonna be like, okay, it's gonna do a list operation and then gonna say, okay, give me all the files greater than this timestamp, meaning you're only processing incremental data. But now let's see how to submit the job uh, that we have to EMR serverless. So in order to submit the job to EMR CLI, these, uh, this is what we're gonna do. Again, uh, I'm using backtick so that I could write it on a multiple lines, okay? So entry point as entry point.py, that's the Python name, the application ID. Application ID is the one that we you will see over here. So in this case, uh, this is the application ID. Uh, the glue on, I just create a simple ARN so that you can access that, right? Uh, this over here is basically meaning where would you want to store your Python files on S3 and you know because um, the, the, the EMR CLI is going to zip everything and it's going to dump on S3 right. So that's the path over there right. These are the Spark configuration. Um, again we are using uh, 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 settings for, um, for Apache Hori. Also we are going to use um, glue um, catalog right. So basically these are all the settings. 
build meaning we're gonna build that and wait meaning uh, build and deploy that and I want to see uh, what's going on the status is on, on, on the console so let's see this in action now so here you can see I have typed all the command and now I'm simply gonna submit the command okay so I hit enter and as you can see first it's gonna build everything for me once the build process is complete it's gonna dump all the files on S3 and then it's gonna submit the job to the EMR CLI so let's head over to the S3 and simply I'm heading over to the root directory and right now I do not have anything other than the raw, raw, raw folder. But once the deployment is complete, meaning it's going to dump all the files on S3, it will automatically submit a job to the EMRC serverless and you will see the status on the console. So let's wait. As you can see right now, it is in the deploying state, meaning it's deploying the Python file entry point.py to this particular bucket. Now the job has been submitted. The job is also in the pending state. So uh, here you can see that's my uh, uh, you know deployment package. And if I head over to my EMR serverless at this point, and if I refresh, it's in the starting state. And here you can see the job is now in the pending state. And here you can see also I am able to see the status on the CLI as well. So let me wait and uh, resume the video once this is complete because this might take about five to ten minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna resume the video once this is complete. Now you can see it's in the running state. Um, again, if I refresh over here, that's the status, right? Again, now it's in the running state. So uh, let me wait and resume once uh, hopefully this is complete. As you can see, the job is now in the success state and let's basically head over to the EMR. And here you can see it's as now succeeded. If I go back to my S3, right? And go to the root directory at this point. And if I refresh here, you can see I see the silver zone, which is the transactional data lake, which is the holy transaction data lake. And at this point, I see the metadata file. So if I quickly download and show you, again, very, very quickly. Uh, let me open that in Notepad++. And also, at the same time, let me go to JSON formatter so that I can show you. And here you can see the metadata file, right? So it essentially stores the last process file and uh, appropriate timestamp. So the next time when the job is gonna run, it's gonna say, okay, give me all the list, all the files and give me files greater than this particular timestamp. This way you're only processing new incremental data. So thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed these labs and tutorials. If you did enjoy a simple like and a comment or sharing the video with your coworkers would be absolutely fantastic. And all the materials and resources is available on my GitHub section. So please go for it, try it out. And if you have questions, please do not hesitate to ask me your questions. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you in the next video.